In light of the proposed New Deal that could significantly change the reality of the war for Israelis, ILTV's Rachel Safdi went to Tel Aviv to gather public opinion. Let's take a look. Many Israelis watched President Joe Biden's speech on the new proposed deal, and there are many differing opinions. So I'm here today in the streets of Tel Aviv to ask Israelis what they think about the speech, the deal, and what they think Israel should do. I think first and foremost, it was incredibly disrespectful that it came out on a Friday night, understanding that it's Shabbat here, and that the Israeli people and the Netanyahu wouldn't be able to respond for a full 24 hours. So first and foremost, I think that sends a message. Secondly, I think it's incredibly complicated. I think that given that the hostages are still there, you know, any deal that we can grab onto that is actually going to release them is an important deal for us to consider and for us to move forward with. But at the same time, a deal that leaves Hamas in charge is no deal because we're just going to repeat what happened October 7th over and over again until they're gone. So it's wildly complicated and I don't envy the position of the governments, you know, and the decisions that they have to make. I think it's a very complex situation and a very complex deal, but I'm hope for peace and um, whatever it brings to bring the hostages home. What do you think of this new deal? Should Israel accept it? Not on uh, such conditions because I believe that it's the most priority for us to bring our people back home. But we can't just let Hamas go and tell him like it's bargain. They, push and push and push and then we take all conditions what they want. Uh, it's impossible because it will be the new war, it will be the new kidnapping of people and it will be endless. So it's a very, very difficult choice, but I believe that it should be other options. I think that Hamas can't be in power ever and that we got to bring the hostages home. So something that accomplishes both of those goals is the only way to end this. What did you think of President Joe Biden's speech? I think he has a moral duty. Um, we have a moral duty as a country to bring back these people that were kidnapped from their own beds and their own homes on October 7th. Uh, they didn't do anything wrong. They're held there in the worst of conditions, and I think they have to come back at any cost right now. We anyways, in my opinion, lost the war. Um, militarily, we kind of defeated them. PR-wise, we completely failed. And we just need to cut our losses and bring these people back home and move onwards with our lives. So you think Israel should accept this deal? Yeah, for sure.